Hey, today I'm going to talk about the uh, Vox importer, a new importer for uh, from Magica Voxel to Blender. I use Blender for many years and CryptoCities asked us to write an importer from Magica Voxel to Blender. And um, since then I used Magica Voxel um, a few times and now we released the importer and uh, really got interested in uh, Magica Voxel. So let's take a look. I'll show you Magica Voxel. I don't know much about it. I just know a few things, but that, that's enough. So uh, here you see the, uh, I use mainly four things. Uh, you see uh, a box mode. You can press B as well for box mode and you can do that. You can pick another color like that. And then you can uh, paint around. All right. And then you have also face uh, mode. And face mode. You can do that. All right. So um, yeah, I made some nice uh, models of nice models. <clears throat> These are building building models. Yeah, this is uh, this is my uh, first serious model. All right, but anyways, uh, so then you go to Blender and then you go to import and um, import Magica Voxel. And go to your Fox directory and there you import your model. I turn on wireframe by default and let's turn it off. And I set the origin to the middle. So I see I show you what is important. So you see that all the colors are preserved. And if you see that the magic of Fox here are the colors uh, exactly the same uh, model. And it loaded in um, uh, less than a second, I believe. Uh, one important thing if you work in Blender, um, that is that the mesh is on the inside uh, empty like that. There are no interior faces. So we look now inside the model, inside the model, and you see there are no blocks inside. So what happens is um, the importer removed the interior faces and also attached all the ver vertices. And the faces so that that's all connected to, so it's like a watertight mesh and for blender that's important and uh, that means that we can do all kinds of things like booleans physics uh, modifiers etc um yeah i'll just show you for example if you have a modifier simple to form taper on a set you know like that so you can uh, duplicate and here you choose the band or oh, like that and you can duplicate it oops again and then you choose for a stretch oops okay yeah <laughs> You can do all the crazy stuff. You can also add a displacement modifier, click new, click this button, and then you go to clouds, turn this all the way up, I go here, and put the strength a bit down, and then you have something like that. And now if you add a bevel modifier, for example, uh put that here i know it um, shades smooth like that yeah you can uh, paint uh, on it uh, everything um and of course you can animate so have camera like that yeah so uh we have the circle in the middle uh, Click the camera, click the circle, control P, so object. And now if we animate the circle, we can uh, do that. So I'll press uh, I. I go to another keyframe, zoom in, 
uh, rotate about uh, around a bit like that and zoom in again go up maybe and then so and then you have your animation <laughs> it's pretty fast let's change this a bit over here maybe that's nice um oh yeah if you have uh, you can get uh, spvs free add-on uh, this is the pro version that's ev production suite but you have a uh, spv that has a lot of uh, functions uh, like this so i choose for this preset over here and then go to run settings you see what happened um let me see the run settings yeah so we press this one make fire go here and we got to run of you you see this is not with the run settings applied and you see it's pretty ugly so with the speed here on also ev express if you press run settings and then if you bake then you get the best results i still see here a light leak that's supposed not to be and maybe that's because there was a light somewhere but anyway yeah you can use that add-on so you can easily make uh, animation and i'll show you if you render it out i used to render on 720p mostly that's enough for um, twitter etc if you render it out you can see yourself it took one second and uh, uh, tw 12 milliseconds of course you need to um, adjust uh, do some adjustments like uh, color management you want to have medium high contrast put the exposure a bit up and uh, I'll do something with the uh, compositing to make it a bit uh, nice anyway so um yeah so you can run on the uh, runs pretty fast as noise uh, free okay yeah there's uh, no noise at all so um what else so yeah the boolean i show you a boolean that's also important let's i uh, think we'll delete all the modifiers so for a while i add cube here on the cube I'm gonna do that I'll go to this preview it works a bit faster so you see the boolean is working perfect if this mesh was not uh, good if a mesh is not uh, good, like a watertight, then the booleans uh, won't work either. But you see, this um, boolean works uh, perfect everywhere. So that's pretty important. And we can go in edit mode, select face. you can play around with that mm. crazy stuff you can do in no time you see it mm. um, here we got a little thing and then that means we need to adjust this boolean a little bit up or down so mm -hmm. 
there, select the camera. Uh, two seconds, all right. Well, that's very fast. All right, um, do I need to explain some uh, more? Yeah, so you see the add-on is on Blender Market. Let's go to Blender Market. And then uh, Vox Importer. Yeah, so you can uh, find that uh, here. So it supports uh, materials. Yeah. Yes, we've seen that. Uh, the mesh optimi uh, optimization. Oh yeah, there are some limitations. Uh, when in Magica Voxel you do nested objects. I never do that, but I think it is that you have an, another object inside this object. So that's like a model inside this model. I'm not sure how that works. I think that's for advanced users maybe. But that is a limitation while it is reported that sometimes the, um, the nested object got rotated or displaced elsewhere and then you have to manually um, displace it back. All the materials are supported except the volumetric, but of course you can uh, in Blender you can assign any um, material. Alright, you can see how you can contact us, who we are, so um, and what the roadmap is. Alright, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and then uh, oh yeah you will find later on also an article on blender addons.org that's this one oh yeah look at the blender market shopping guide there are spring sales uh, very soon and uh, a lot of awesome products all right that's that thanks for watching